997 from 3 to 7 p.m. Yes, it's still on Route 997 with Crumbs, the voice of Lusaka and Ravishing, going all the way till 7 p.m. now. Uh, we were talking about B Flow before uh, we went to the news and also to the rush hour dash that DJ Smalls, uh, you know, did. And he brought the house down. Yes, Wednesdays and Fridays is in the building. Mondays is DJ Chris Fabulous. Now, B Flow, Galindula. B Flo wants to go into doing Kalindula music. He has said his latest uh, releases uh, are Kalindula style and said, you know, that is his final decision and no one should question or criticize, or rather, to everyone that is going to criticize, he's not changing his mind. No two ways about it. He's going Kalindula. Mm. Yes, that okay. is his official statement. Nobody's going to change his mind. No. Not even us. Perhaps. Not even himself. Not even himself. <laughs> Not even the fans that feel that he can't. Not even the ones that feel that he can't. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, so how do you feel about this? I mean, I assume you like B-Flow. like his music? I do. I like his music and I think it's a very courageous move to take as an artist. Yeah. Considering you have kept a particular genre for some time. Mm. And then you just decide to switch. Yep. It's 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 it it could go either way, you know. It could be good, it could be bad. And from the reviews we have on the Facebook page, those that have heard his two latest releases uh, already, many of them saying, "Why?" You know, like he should. Many saying he should just have kept to the dance hall. At some point, he was dabbed or named King of Dance Hall and whatnot. Yeah. A lot of people appreciated that about him. So I think also for the fans, it's a switch they will need to adjust to. Yeah. It will take some time. And uh, he's clearly made a decision and no one's going to change his mind. So I, I think as an artist, it's a courageous move to take. Yeah. And I will wish him all the best. And uh, yeah, I hope it is a successful move. I hope... He thought seriously and long about this yeah. because it's not just something you wake up and decide. Exactly. I mean, especially because his career is all right. You know, it's not like he hit rock bottom and had to make a desperate move for him to make some cash. You know, mm. he's doing OK. So for him to make such a big move, man, he better be offering some <laughs> Some well, good stuff. I and he say. also says he wants to do this because uh, it's somewhat him wanting to be original. Yeah. So it, that's to say, Kalindula is Zambian music. Yeah, it is. You know, it is <laughs> where most of our artists have got an inspiration from to do the different genres that they do. Yeah. You know, so he's saying he wants to be original. And that's why he's decided to go Kalindula. And uh, I, I, yeah, I just hope it. It's a positive move. Yeah, well, on the surface it looks good, but um, after a while, I guess we'll see. And we'll definitely uh, play some of the records that he's he's released, and then we'll we'll see after that. But hey, let's play some of his old stuff, which was phenomenal. Jimenez System featuring JK and Exile. Check it out. It's right here on Power FM, your number one youth radio, Route 997, the hottest, biggest, fast-moving drive time show in the whole of Zambia. Route 997. From 3 to 7 p.m. Super fantastic at the video shows Power FM. 99.7 FM Lusaka. Feel the power. Yeah, man. Chant it on. 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 So he's going to stop saying that, right? Uh, he's probably going to have like a new one or something, I think. <laughs> All right, so we want to talk to B-Flo. And, you know, just uh, let him say it himself. You know, like the whole situation with the... Galindula music going on. Um, so we're going to be talking to B Flow just now. Calling him up. So you could actually hear it for yourself. B Flow, pick up. Don't be shy now. Don't be shy, B Flow. Don't be scared. Come on, B Flow. <laughs> it's just us. <laughs> Hello. What do you do? Yeah, what do you do? 
What's Chant up, man? it on! Do a fantastic get the Yeah. <laughs> well, you might have to stop saying that soon. Looking at you're doing Kalindula real soon, isn't it? <laughs> That's what I was asking. I was asking why are you still talking like that? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Big flow, man. What is your name? It doesn't mean that we have to go on screen and everything. No. <laughs> All right. What What made you change? Like, what made you decide I you want to go Kalindula? Okay. Um, is this the Tanella? Yes, it's ravishing. It's ravishing oh, you. <laughs> I, I, I thought it's Chrome and some somebody else. Who's ra- who's Petronella? It's ravishing. Petronella is ravishing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I decided to switch to to Kalindula. Um, uh, for the simple reason that I thought Kalindula is original um, Zambian music, and that's what people regard as original or, or authentic Zambian music. And I think uh, my travels ar- around the world lately have also exposed me to the fact that people appreciate more when you give them something that they do not have. Um, Zambian music today is a combination of different genres of music. We have R&B, we have hip-hop, we have dance we have rumba. But it's difficult to point out what really is Zambian music, especially when you're out there and you want to... To, to brag and say this is what we do back home. So I thought that there's no need to totally get rid of the Kalindula, which we already had in this country. So I thought, like, as a young person, I can also embrace it and do something with it, with the same messages that I've been using on the dance floor that I've been doing, but now this time around, introduce uh, something something fresh in the lines of Kalindula. And I don't expect anybody to complain because people have been telling us that we're not original. The same people have been telling us that we can't perform live. So let's do some Kalindula. Let's celebrate some Kalindula. All right. All right. Don't you think you're going to lose uh, some of your fan base considering some of your fans have actually held you as being the king of dance hall or reggae or raga? Oh, yeah. I, I don't want to lose any fans. I want the fans to understand. So before they criticize me, I want them to actually listen to what I have to offer in Kalindula. And some of them would agree that actually there's even an element of dancer in that Kalindula. So we can call it Kali Dancer. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> yeah, man. Kali Dancer, you know. Okay. So you, you're looking at bringing up like a new identity. Are we going to listen to like a new type? Of Kalindula, not like you know, because when people hear Kalindula, is it gonna be the same, you know, like from the eighties and seventies? Yeah. What, what are you looking? What are you gonna do? Well, uh, I have to embrace both the old and also the modern music that we do today because uh, whether we like it or not, we cannot run away from the fact that uh, my fan base also comprises young people that may not really understand the dynamics of Kalindula. Mm-hmm. And uh, I should also not lie that I understand Kalindula fully because I'm also from the new generation, you know. Mm-hmm. But then I also tap into what I was exposed to as a kid. Some of the Kalindula music, by the time some of us were 10, were 8 years old, we could still listen to it as it was slowly uh, phasing, uh, phasing out. Mm-hmm. But because I, I have an understanding of um, some of the Kalindula music, at least I, I, I know PK, I know Masasu, I know... Um, Mashombe Blue Jeans, you know, I know uh, Pongos, you know, Pongos was not entirely Kalindula. Yeah, it was rock and roll. Uh, I also, yes, I also come back, from, I come from a background where my uncle, my family was in the Kalindula world. Um, my uncle was Christian Bale, the leader of uh, the Witch Band. Oh, really? Yes, yes. So I, I feel that. Their legacy also, uh, their dreams can also live on through a young person like myself. They wanted to see this Kalindula thing go on. And I'm not entirely doing away with dancehall, but let me also just add something that other people out there will still appreciate and say, oh, Zambians have got something to offer too, you know, because if I go out there and I'm sounding like Beanie Man, I will simply be giving Beanie Man more shine. I go out there something like Chris Brown, everybody will say, ah, this boy sounds like Chris Brown, and Chris Brown will be mentioned again. Mm. 
But if I, some, if I go out there and I've got some Kalindula, but I'm still singing even in English and they can understand what I'm talking about, but with a whole different sound, which is got a, a bit of Kalindula from Zambia, I think will be appreciated more. So uh, I just need everybody's support as I try uh, to take this move. That's a very that's a very good point that you bring up. How to you need to sound original because when you sound like someone else, you're giving shine to that other yeah. person. But yeah. looking at the two singles that have been released, is it very bad? And uh, the other one, Tequesha. Some of yeah. the fans that have listened to those singles are saying they're not as what they expected. They're very others saying very bad. They are very bad. <laughs> <laughs> And they're expecting the old Kalindula, the old school Kalindula. I think, you know, when you say you're going to do Kalindula, I think that that's uh-huh. what I was saying. It's like when somebody <laughs> says, when they hear that B-Flow is going to be doing mm. Kalindula, it's like the, the, the little sounds that come up are like, you know, like from way back in the 70s and the, you know, in the 80s. So when you say, like, I, I love that you've explained it. Mm, yeah. And uh, we're looking forward to all this music, man. So are you, who, who are you looking at collaborating with more? We know you have a Chef 187 song. You know, you have a yes, song with Chef yes. One Eight Seven. So, who do you, who else are you going to work with? Um, well, with this, this is more like an experiment that I cannot really carry alone. Mm. And it's, it's. I believe that if it's a transition, a movement, it requires uh, concerted effort, and it's very important that other artists also play a role. So, strategically, I have to feature even artists that you don't even expect us to, to to hear jump on a Kalindula beat. You know. So expect me to work with even the likes of Slap D, the likes of JK, the likes of... We already have Chef 187. I know Maki 2 has experimented on a bit of Kalindula as well. Mm-hmm. So I think the more people I try to feature, even if they don't do Kalindula, the more chances we have of um, reviving Kalindula because if influential artists can do it, then in one way or another, I think we'll influence people to listen to, to that Kalindula music. But if only one person is doing it, eventually people will just say, ah, is it full of I mean, it's hip hop, we have the I mean. Yeah. And, and uh, one, yeah. one last thing before we let you go. Do you think Obama is going to like this new music? Obizi. <laughs> <laughs> Obizi is going to love it. I think it's going to love it because it's, it's African. You know, sometime back when we, we, we sang happy birthday for him during the town hall meeting we had with him. And he dances to African music. Mm. Oh wow! He dances he African. to African music. Yeah. So I think I think you would love the you would love that uh, Kalindula feel. You know, funko yeah. to funko to so. Yeah. <laughs> Deep yeah. flow. Thank you very much, <laughs> man. Thank you so much. We just wanted you to come through and say it for yourself. You know, don't want people saying, "Ah, but in my right, Ravishan and Chrome said no." Yeah. B Flow yeah. has said it himself. And we'll be looking forward to having you right here in studio. Real soon, yeah. Definitely. I'll come and freestyle in Cali Dance. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, B Flow, thank you very much, man. Good looking thank out. You, thank you so thank much. You Good All, looking right. Out. All right. All right. Great stuff. All right. So that's B Flow right there. Uh, you know, just clarifying the whole situation of him doing Kalindula and everything. And uh, are we satisfied, Ravishing? Yes, I, I, um, from where he's coming from, you know, I think he's in the better position to know what kind of music is going to sell Zambia mm-hmm. and sell him as an artist on an international scale. If you look at the likes of Mumbayachi, mm-hmm. Mumbayachi's sound is different. It's in that Kalindula kind of, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And because of that, he has got an opportunity to perform at international stages that authentic Zambian sound that people want to hear African music. You know what I mean? And yeah. we have our identity. South Africans have, is it Kwaito? Yeah. You know what I mean? Which has kind of died out now, but yeah. Yeah, they had that. But there's and still elements of it. Exactly. Of and we also need to somehow embrace our own. And if he comes from that standpoint, then it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it does. Yeah, wait. We, it's great that we called and, you know, just to hear him say it himself. Hey, we got to go.